Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install our floor to ceiling posts. We start by finding the exact location we want to place our first post. Next, mark that location. Now, measure the height in your desired location. Next, measure your floor to ceiling posts to see how much extra length you need to cut off to equal the height you need for your location. Pro tip, use painter's tape around where you need to cut so you don't scratch the paint on the floor to ceiling posts. Using a measuring tape, precisely mark the points you need to cut on the floor to ceiling post. Use a set square to make sure both marks on both posts are perfect. Repeat this process on the other half of the floor to ceiling posts. With the post clamped down for safety, begin cutting on the markings with a handsaw. Warning, we recommend never using any power saw or power tools to cut the posts. This protects the paint and the safety of the installer. Insert the couplers into one of the sides of the floor to ceiling posts. Join the two sides of the post together. Tap the post on the ground to make sure that both sides are tight. Next, place the backer channel onto the post and make sure that it is spaced evenly in the middle. Now you can use the self-tapping screws to attach the backer channel to the floor to ceiling posts. Repeat this for the remaining holes on the backer channel. Next we'll use a set square to ensure that the second backer channel applied to the post is perfectly level. Again, using self-tapping screws that are provided, we will secure the backer channel to the post. Using the dome caps provided, place them into the backer channel to hide the holes. Now that the floor to ceiling post has been assembled to the right height, we can begin fitment. Using a rubber mallet as to not damage the floor to ceiling post, knock it into place. Using a measuring tape, ensure that the floor to ceiling post is in the right position. Using a bubble level and a rubber hammer, make sure that the floor to ceiling is perfectly level. Next, we can secure the post to the ceiling. Ensure that the floor to ceiling post is still level. Use a rubber mallet if needed. Finally, secure the bottom of the post to the floor. You can repeat this process for as many floor-to-ceiling posts as you need.